Now, we've really kind of seen arts education as being something more uh, that's driven by the State Assembly um, and that we've really felt like we've been needing a champion in the California State Senate. And, and, and when uh, Mr. Allen uh, was elected, um, I knew immediately where his heart was. And I knew that his heart was in this game. And I knew that when we had to go to bat to fight for arts education and arts funding in the state, I knew that he would be a great champion. And getting to know him and, and being able to work with him on these issues has really, truly been an honor. He's a bright guy who um, you know, has a lot of good ideas about what we can do to increase arts funding in this state and make sure that arts continues to stay uh, at the top of the docket in terms of important issues and items in this state. And so it's an honor to have him and an honor to be able to work with him. Um, and I, well, I just want to say thanks for inviting me to, par to participate um, in this hearing. And, and, it, and it really is a pleasure to be here um, as a chairman of the only policy committee which oversees all aspects of the creative economy. And I'd like to extend a particular thank you uh, to the Otis College of Art and Design for their long-standing effort to quantify the financial contribution of, uh, of the arts and for their ex excellent work uh, on this second statewide assessment of the impact of the arts um, uh, fiscal state, uh, uh, state's fiscal health. Uh, while we are unveiling the second statewide review of the creative economy, their regional work in Southern California has helped lay the foundation for important legislative action, such as the film tax credit, uh, anti-piracy laws, and increased funding for the California Arts Council. So anyone who pre appreciates music, theater, and fine arts, along with the graphic design and computing of wizardry of the Wii game makers and California designers such as Hurley International, which is a company I used to work for, their focus is action, sports, music, and art. Uh, to true religion genes, uh, know that art is absolutely everywhere. And thanks to uh, Otis, we all know also uh, what that is worth in tax dollars. I'd also like to thank the California Arts Council. And these are a group of folks that are just amazing. Um, you know, arts was something that I, uh, being the chair of the Arts Entertainment Committee, um, I got a crash course in really fast. And it was the California Arts Council that led um, kind of my awakening when it came to arts education funding for the, uh, for the state. And, you know, last year we had about six or so million dollars uh, for arts funding, but had we not acted and had we, hadn't, had we not had California Arts Council there fighting with us, funding for arts education this year would be a million dollars. Because last year we had a million dollars that the state contributed a federal match of a million dollars, a $2 million gift from the speaker, along with other type of license plate monies that would come in. Um, there's no more federal match for this year. There's no more uh, gift from the speaker. Um, so had we not done anything, that funding would have been only a million dollars. Uh, and it was only because of the work uh, with arts leaders in this room uh, Craig Watson, I see you in the back. He's a champion. I can't, uh, I really can't underscore how important he is in this conversation. Um, we were able to up, up the state's contribution from a million dollars to five million dollars. And that was, that was a great step. It is nowhere near where we need to be, but at least it was a good step in the right direction. In my ACR 46 that I'm carrying this year, it urges a substantial increase in the budget for arts funding. Uh, and the Assembly Budget Sub 4 Committee, uh, chaired by some Assemblyman Adrian Nazarian um, did a proposal of $10 million, which I do believe is a great start, uh, but we still need to keep fighting for more. Um, supporting arts isn't just the right thing to do. It really is an investment with a guaranteed return in our future. You know, it's interesting during uh, our Assembly Democratic Caucus, we talked about arts funding, and I think when people originally kind of heard arts, they're like, oh, you know, they didn't, they didn't take it maybe as seriously as they should have. But when it was put into perspective about how much is wrapped up in California's creative economy and how many billions of dollars of revenue that represents every year to this state and how important that was because of the workforce that is generated or needed in this state and how that workforce is created by arts education for tech companies, entertainment companies, that's when I think the light bulb went off. And I, I know that at least within the Assembly Democratic Caucus uh, or the Assembly in general, um, arts funding is an extremely important issue that we intend to work extremely hard on. 
Um, but I just want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank the chairman for allowing me to be here along with the members, and I look forward to the report.